And the political chaos in Thailand is unfolding just before an important visit. Wang Yi was supposed to travel to Thailand later this week. That's China's foreign minister. He is on a tour of Southeast Asia. He started today with Myanmar. Wang Yi is meeting top military leadership, the top military leadership in Myanmar. Remember, the junta is in power in Myanmar. They led a coup three years ago, and they have been ruling since. Over the past few months, they've been facing challenges from rebel groups. They've lost control of a military base on the China-Myanmar border. The rebels have taken over. And Beijing is not happy with the generals. Throughout this conflict, China has tried to play mediator, and now it is pushing the generals to accept a ceasefire. But will the junta agree? Our next report tells you more. It's a visit that's got the world's attention. Wang Yi is visiting Myanmar. He's supposed to meet Min Ong Lang, the country's military leader. The circumstances in Myanmar perhaps made this sit-down a necessary one. Myanmar's military junta has suffered a big setback. They lost control of a key military base in Shan. The rebels have taken it over. Myanmar soldiers couldn't defend their positions. The rebels overpowered them. So ultimately, they had to withdraw. The losses in Shan are worrying for Beijing. Shan is a border state in northern Myanmar. It shares a boundary border with China. Shan is crucial for the border trade between the two neighbors. It's also vital for Xi Jinping's Belt and Road Initiative. So this is a security nightmare for China. China pays great attention to the situation in northern Myanmar. We have been urging relevant parties in Myanmar to adhere to dialogue and consultation, end the fighting as soon as possible, resolve differences by peaceful means, and avoid escalation of the situation. In particular, they must not endanger the Chinese border, border residents, and companies and personnel of Chinese projects in Myanmar. Myanmar's military junta has been trying to secure Beijing's support to fight the rebels. In return, the generals have offered economic concessions, like the Mitsun Dam project. It was suspended more than 10 years ago. This was after a massive public protest. But in May this year, the junta decided to revive it. As per the original plan, the 6,000 megawatt dam was supposed to be built in northern Myanmar, with financial backing from China. The project is worth $3.6 billion, and 90% of the power generated from this dam would be exported to China. But Beijing wants more from the junta. It's demanding a quick ceasefire between the rebels and the junta. Beijing had brokered one in January, but it fell apart in July. A new round of talks was scheduled for the same month, but the junta boycotted the meeting. Beijing has also been pushing the generals to step aside and make way for an interim leader. But the military has been less forthcoming on that front. Wang Yi could push the regime and extract more concessions during his trip. But without an end to the civil war, any promises made by the generals could end up being meaningless. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. 
One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative.